In today's video, we'll be exploring our data in the ExpressView Designer. As we go, we'll be highlighting the key features of ExpressView to help you become more familiar with the interface. Let's get started by creating a new ExpressView. We can see that we're prompted to begin by dragging and dropping data fields, which are located on the left-hand side. We can click through to find the specific fields we want, or use the search bar if we prefer. Now that our Express View has a few data fields, let's take a look at the options our radial menu provides. On any given field, we have the ability to filter or sort by that field, remove the field, or group by that field. In the interest of creating a sales report, let's group by employee last names. ExpressView will automatically add simple aggregate calculations at the bottom of the report. Now that we're grouping by last name, those aggregates will also be calculated once for each group. By clicking the drop down here, we can choose a different calculation for each field. Since we'd like to see revenue generated per employee, let's switch the revenue field to sum. The right menu provides access to a variety of formatting options. We can select an individual component to modify. or apply a collection of formatting changes through the use of themes. Here we can access our sorts pane to modify how our data is ordered. We can narrow our data set with our filters pane here. For example, let's take a look at the top five employees based on revenue. We can add a chart to our Express View by clicking the Show Visualization icon located here. This automatically opens our Visualization tab, which allows us to change our chart type, the data we're displaying, and the chart's aesthetics. Now that we've built out our Express View structure, we can use our live data toggle to go and get actual data values. Once the data is pulled, we can explore the information by scrolling. Notice our headers scroll with us to make sure we always know where we are relative to the data. We can also collapse headers to quickly jump from one grouping of data to the next. We even have the ability to use our visualization to filter the tabular data below. From here, we can save our Express View by giving it a name, a folder to live in, and an optional description. We can also export the Express View. Finally, we have the ability to create an advanced report copy of our Express View, which will give us more in-depth design capability for all our advanced reporting needs. This concludes our walkthrough of the Express View Designer. Be sure to check out our segment on advanced reports, and as always, happy reporting.